Right then, you've seen the title, this is a bold claim. The film industry is bent. Yeah, I know. A lot of people will probably have looked at that and gone, what is Mr. H talking about? What the hell is this guy talking about? And yes, on the thumbnail, if you notice down by the left side, it does say rant. I am going to be sitting here and I am going to be ranting to you today because I am pissed. Now, why am I so annoyed? Why are my panties in a twist? Well, as a person that enjoys good movies, I obviously put my opinion out there on the internet. And this is where I've built my channel from. A lot of people come here for that. I'm not saying that's right or wrong. That's besides the point. But a lot of people have come here and questioned my opinion in the past by saying it's been bought and it's been... I'm taking payoffs from studios and, and all of this stuff. Now, I'm here to say categorically that's not the case. But I will say this, that the film industry is bent. And it is bent towards people providing positive reviews. And I will explain why. And then, obviously, you will realise why I'm so annoyed by movie studios being absolute arseholes like they have been recently. So... A lot of people say that movie reviewers are paid. They are on the payroll of studios and, and the like and, and all of this stuff. And that's a fair critique. It's absolutely fine. I've always maintained that that's not the case. Absolutely not. Generally speaking, anyway. I've never experienced anything like that when I've been to movie screenings for, you know, movies that are just coming out. I've never received anything. Uh, in fact, I was at a screening last night for Revenge. I didn't even get a drink. In fact, I had to go and get a coffee for myself that's the level of kind of pandering that these people do to you. There's there's nothing, essentially. Now, when I've been to movie premieres, uh, you know, world premieres, has there been anything kind of given and stuff like that? There's been like a tiny little goodie bag. But there's been no monetary value transferred or anything along those lines. So I've been on the defensive here and maintained that no, movie studios do not pay reviewers. But now I'm going to change my opinion. I'm going to change my opinion. And I will say this, that movie reviewers are incentivized to review a movie positively. And I know a lot of people will say, oh, newsflash here, newsflash there. That's not my point. My point is, is that in, in terms of online and being on YouTube, movie reviewers are incentivized to review a movie positively because a studio cannot handle when you put a video out and you critique their film negatively, even if it's purely constructive criticism because they decide to abuse YouTube's copyright system. That is why YouTube are empowering these studios in a way which is negatively impacting the film industry. And I have evidence for this, right? I reviewed The Mummy that came out last year as one of the worst movies I've seen. In fact, I almost walked out of that film. It is a bad movie, in my opinion. And then this year, I reviewed The Winchester and in the title it says bland horror and it is it's, it's an incredibly bad movie it relies heavily on jump scares it is a poor lazy badly written film with extremely lazy storytelling methods and lazy horror methods as well now what am i coming to with this i've reviewed movies positively and negatively now when a movie is reviewed negatively lo and behold a copyright claim comes through now, for those that don't know, I can dispute these copyright claims because by law, and I'll put it on the screen now, by law, I have done everything to the letter via fair use. All images used meet the commentary and critique narrative that is included in copyright law. Now, there is no way that someone can dispute that. If you watch the video and you took a, took a second to read copyright law, you would know that there's no way what I've done infringes on copyright at all, in fact. There, there is nothing that is infringing on anyone's copyright there at all. And lo and behold, any time I've reviewed a movie negatively and a studio has claimed it, I've gone through and disputed it in, in the most constructive way possible. Please release my video under fair use copyright law all images used meet the criteria for commentary and critique as outlined in fair use law. And then I send them the fair use law. Again, you have to really show what you're talking about, that you know what you're talking about to these, these studios. And anytime I've done this and the movie has been negative, the movie review has been negative, the studio has refuted my claim. Now, again, like I said, if you watched this, you would realise that there is no way what I've done infringes on anyone's copyright at all. So that would obviously lead me to believe 
that the studios and the film industry is completely bent. It leaves movie reviewers massively incentivized to push forward with more positive reviews rather than negative. And a lot of people have claimed that I've been bought by movie studios, and I haven't. And this is evidence of that. I'm making a rant video basically saying that movie studios throw a huge hissy fit whenever anyone reviews their movie badly. Here's a newsflash, Lionsgate UK, because, you know, you are the most recent perpetrators of this bullshit that I'm talking about today. Your Winchester movie sucked. It was a terrible film. You should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself for putting that much money into it as well. It is a bad film. Terrible. Scrap Helen Mirren, she didn't save it. Put her payment budget towards making the movie better and buying a better writer, how about that? And Universal, your The Mummy, was garbage. Newsflash, guys, it was garbage. If you think that movie was good, any studio exec that is clearly not listening, you've either had a brain hemorrhage overnight before going into that film to watch it, or you are completely in the wrong job, and the money for that movie proved it. So yes, this is a massive rant, but it's also just to show to you guys that no, I have never been incentivized to provide a positive movie review. If anything, I maintain the absolute honesty that I always have on this channel. But that does lead me to my next thing, is that moving forward, whenever I do a movie review and I'm going to be saying that the movie absolutely sucked, it will be me on screen. It will just be me. Because Newsflash, movie studios, you can't claim my face. You can't claim me as copyright infringement. So it'll be me sat there telling you how bad I thought that your shit film was. Telling it to you, my awesome subscribers. So guys, another reason why this face reveal needs to happen. It's not even the money side of it, because if anyone takes a look, I'll look now. My Winchester movie review received, what, 3.5 thousand views? That's maybe $5. If that, it's absolutely nothing. It's pittance. What do you do with that? Like, you could buy two cups of coffee, you know? It's not even the money side of it. It's more the, the fact that, you know, I, I try to provide a very unbiased approach to these movie reviews moving forwards. And some little arsewipe over at a movie studio thinks that they can go and claim my video. Go and watch it. And again, I'll chuck it on the screen now. Just look at copyright law. There is no way anything I've done infringes on the studio's copyright. There's nothing. Absolutely nothing. In fact, movie studios, if anyone was going to claim me for copyright, it should be 2000 AD for the fact that I've used their comics in my videos. But you know what? They don't. And you know why? Because they know the positive impact that I'm giving them. And again, it's not to say that I'm this be-all and end-all and I'm amazing and anything like that. But movie studios, you really don't get it. I have a captive audience here that does like my opinion. You guys enjoy my opinion. It's not always the, the right one in terms of marrying it, up, marrying it up with yours, but it's also something that you come here to listen to. Movie studios, you need to get this into your thick skulls. You need to understand this is that if I was to say a movie was absolutely effing garbage, my subscribers would listen. Because you, for whatever reason, again, I'm easily as, I'm as baffled as you guys are, but you like my opinion. So if I was to go out there and say that, you know, the Winchester sucked, and you only have to look at the comments, a lot of people have said, meh, I'm probably not going to bother then. Movie studios, get it into your thick skulls that you need to work with people. If you put a shit movie out there, if you even put a movie out there, you need to accept that it's going to get critique. If you put anything out there and you're asking people to effectively do their job, don't then slap them on the wrist for doing their job and saying that it sucked. You've put a movie out there for people to judge. Anyone. Just because I've got an audience doesn't mean that you can then pull a fast one on me and try to do a copyright claim. Because not only do you make yourself look like a dumbass, but you also make the whole industry look corrupt. And this is why I can fully understand and fully appreciate where people are getting these claims from that movie reviewers are bought. In my eyes, they're not, but they are incentivized, and this is what, and this is why I will agree with you. But like I said, moving forwards, guys, if I think a movie is shit, it'll just be me sat there telling you that I hated it and why I hated it. Movie studios, you won't be claiming that. You can't claim my beautiful face, all right? I've been Mr. H. Yes, this has been a rant. Yes, I don't normally do this on this channel, but I needed to bring this to you guys, and I needed to put this out there. Share this to get this out to more people, 
to let them know that this is what happens and this is what movie studios do. Because I think this is a bit of an eye-opener and I'm showing you a peek behind the curtain. If this happens to me, someone with only 100,000 subscribers, think what happens to the bigger movie reviewers. Hmm? Think what happens to them. Think how they're incentivized. Because I definitely think that they're going to be treating those people a little bit differently and incentivizing them in different ways as opposed to just doing a copyright claim. As always guys, I've been Mr H. Leave your thoughts down below and I will catch you in the comments section.